Yo, what about this text fam? So, how do tendons get injured and how can you help yourself heal from a tendon injury? So, when a tendon gets injured, there are three stages. Many doctors um, use the terms tendonitis and tendinosis. Tendonitis refers to an inflammation of the tendons. Tendinosis refers to when that inflammation gets so severe that the tendons actually start to get um, collagen fibers, start to get, you know, kind of misaligned, it starts to grow new abnormal blood vessels, and things start to get kind of messed up in there. But there's a new model that I think really much better breaks down and describes the pathology of how tendons get injured. And this is something called the continuum of tendon pathology model. In this continuum, there are three stages. Stage one is something called the re is something called reactive tendinopathy. Stage two is called tendon disrepair, and stage three is called degenerative tendinopathy. So in stage one, um, reactive tendinopathy, your te um, it hurts a lot. You'll feel a lot of pain, and it can sometimes take weeks, about maybe four to 12 weeks, depending on the severity of it, and depending on your treatment methods for the pain to subside. But this is the first stage in it. Um, and then what happens is if after the stage, you don't give your tendon sufficient rest, you move on to the second stage, which is called tendon disrepair. And what happens in this stage is where it starts to get flooded with proteoglycans, um, it starts to get flooded with water. Um, it starts to get, you know, swollen. Things start to get a little bit, a little bit uncomfortable for the tendon in there. Now, in the in this second stage, there's still a possibility for everything to revert back to normal. The third, but if you still, if the injury keeps on progressing from there, if it's not handled properly, what will end up happening is that um, you'll move into the third stage which is called degenerative tendinopathy. And in this stage, um, there's actual like, structural damages to the tendon. So the first phase, um, w the first two phases would kind of be more like the, the tendinitis um, aspect in the, the older model. And the latter two stages would be like the, the tendinosis aspect. So in this last stage, there's actual permanent damage done to the tendons. You know, collagen fibers are misaligned. There are collagen fibers that are unable to bear any load. They lose their elasticity. Um, but in this, in the latter stages, you may actually not feel pain. It may be more chronic, which may mean that pain can get set off more easily um, with less work um, over, over time. And in this third stage, um, there is, there is some permanent damage to it. So now how do you help yourself heal from this? Um, what you do not want to do is you do not want to completely rest yourself because that is going to decrease your tendons, um, capacity to handle loads. And that's just going to make you more susceptible to injury in the first place. But you also don't want to continue to overload your tendons either because that's not going to help. That's just going to um, keep on making it worse. So you want to kind of really find that sweet spot, something that is not complete rest, but something that does not um, make it worse either. So with that, um, I hope you all have a great day. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, drop a thumbs up, and share this with the video with the friends so that the algorithm picks up on it and it can show it to more people. And if you're interested in um, personal training or you have any fitness questions, you need any help, let me know in the um, comment section below or shoot me an email. Um, my contact information is in the description. I hope you all have a great day. And remember, one smile, one time to one person can change that person's life. So spread some positivity and peace out.